get a positive charge here on Swingin' Radio England. Fifteen minutes after eight o'clock, much more music time now with David Valentine. If you want a real truth. This is Ron O'Quinn. I was one of the original pirate DJs from the North Sea days back in the 1960s. I knew most of the big acts of the 60s and 70s, including the Beatles. This is Paul McCartney on the Ron O'Quinn Show. This is Ron O'Quinn on the Ringo Starr Show. So if I tell you something about the artist, it's a first-hand story. My shows are heard on Radio Mi Amigo International on Saturday mornings from 10 until noon and Sunday afternoons from 4 until 6. Make me happy. Play the volume loud and be proud. Ron O'Quinn. It's three minutes after two now. Ron O'Quinn on the radio from Swing and Radio England, home of the Boss Jocks and all that music. Golly. Gee whiz. Swing and Radio England. Where there's action. Action's out of the hollies now and bus stop. It's three after two. Don't you know Boss Jocks play much more music. Bus stop with the Crispy in St. Peter's is a no talent. It's nine minutes after two. Rado Quet on the radio. Holy mackerel. Golly, good afternoon to you. If you're on the beach at Britain, how in the world are you? Remember this golden classic. Ruby sound of Elvis Presley, girl of my best friend. It's a flashback on. Swinging radio. Their program director is 23-year-old. Mr. Ron O'Quinn. Mr. O'Quinn, you strike me as very young to be a program director. How did this come about? Uh, quite an odd thing, Michael. I was working in Miami at a radio station in Miami and uh, was approached one uh, Saturday afternoon by a gentleman I'd never met before who uh, wishes to remain anonymous. In fact, I haven't seen him since. And uh, asked me how would I like to come to England, which struck me as being quite funny because I was pretty happy in Miami with the weather, etc. And uh, after explaining it to me about Radio England, it seemed quite a challenge, so here I am. It's after 8 o'clock, much more music time now with David Ballantyne. If you want a real true girl. Well, Ron, swinging Radio England indeed. Now, you claim a new broadcast sound from this pop-powered radio station. What is new about it? Uh, I think the basic uh, new thing that we're going to do is the fact that we are going to stress a personality uh, on the air. It's something that has not been done yet. Uh, the offshore existing offshore stations, we're going to have uh, our announcers on for three hours at a time. And uh, during that time, they'll be play playing the same music that everybody else plays, uh, but they will throw in gimmicks, personality traits, etc., that uh, the listener can associate with a particular disc jockey that's on the air at the time. You really don't think the other stations, like, say, London and Carolina, are doing this now? Uh, to a certain degree, but uh, not the way it should be done. Radio England Banner Live. This news is big news in the world now. This is Jerry Slippick reporting Radio England Banner Lines, a feature of the Radio England Department of News and Public Affairs. The Big Story. London, Edward Heath, Parliament's opposition leader, said the government does not have the will to deal with the economic situation in the United Kingdom. Mr. Heath said that trade figures were bad and that taxes are rising. International banks are again supporting the pound. In fact, everything is rising in Britain except industrial production. Saigon, the ruling military junta in South Vietnam today, celebrated its first year in power with a parade past the military camp outside Saigon. This is Jerry Smith. Get the back first, always on Radio England News. Seconds ahead of much more music on the Ron O'Quinn Show. Look for partly cloudy skies this afternoon with a chance of late afternoon showers turning mostly cloudy tonight with rain. 20 minutes after 2 o'clock, the Ron O'Quinn radio program on the air until 6 o'clock today. Make your way for the Roger Day Show. Why on earth do you want to go to sea? Uh, I didn't really want to go to sea, but the uh, British government won't allow us to shore, so there we are again. You know. Why have you got two stations on board this ship? We think there's a definite uh, opening for a station of Britain Radio's caliber because of the fact that we aren't competing with really anybody and the fact that we're playing music uh, about 20 hours a day, continuous light music for, uh, for the housewives and people who don't want to be bothered with a, with a disc jockey on the air and having to listen to the disc jockey, etc. They've got background music provided for them. 
What about the other stations? Uh, Radio England will provide a definite competition for the existing offshore stations. Uh, and the fact that we'll be on 24 hours a day, and we hope to have a uh, completely different sound from what they have, we're going to stress personality all the way. A little bit pops, basically. Pop, yes. This is quite an enterprise. How much does it cost to set up this uh, station? Uh, in excess of one million pounds. Well, where does that sort of money come from? Uh, from British, Canadian and American investors. You can't name any of them? No, I certainly can. Well, you probably know that the Postmaster General, I don't think, takes a very kind view of pirate ships at the moment. What's your reaction to the fact that you might have only a year to live? Uh, well, actually, I think that it'll be about 18 months from the uh, best I understand before any action is uh, really put before Parliament. And uh, governments being governments, no matter whose government it is, they're known procrastinators and uh, might take a little longer than 18 months. But if we have to move out, they probably will extend the uh, limit to 12 miles, and with our power, we still won't be bothered too much. Would you still be able to cover the entire country 12 miles out? Uh, I wouldn't know about that. I'm not an engineer, but I, I hesitated to, to answer that because I don't think we would, but we'd still cover uh, our definite area with, uh, with London. But from what you say, it seems that you're determined to stay one way or the other. Uh, yes, and we have an alternate plan. If, uh, if England uh, falls through, we have an alternate plan. For another country? Yes. How worthwhile is it to you to defy possible government legislation to stop you being here? Uh, I think, as you already know, the existing offshore stations uh, have made quite a lot of money out of uh, the uh, offshore broadcasting. We already have uh, in excess of 300,000 pounds committed to before going on the air. So we're here to make money. Uh, of course, we'd like to make friends with it, but uh, money is our uh, the real answer, and uh, it's definitely here to be made. But aren't you reliant on uh, British shores for uh, provisioning your ship? Uh, not really. We're uh, relying on Holland. Our uh, tenders are from England, but they pick up our supplies in Holland. Uh -huh. would, would, Holland would you move to Holland if you were banned from our shores? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'd, I'd be afraid, uh, really, to answer that because I, I really don't know Plan B. Uh, pirates off other shores have been boarded before today by uh, governments. Would you uh, be prepared to repel borders? No, certainly not. <laughs> I'm not a fighter. This is Swing and Radio England. You get a positive charge here on Swing and Radio England. Fifteen minutes after the clock. Much more music time now with David Valentine. If you want a real this is Ron O'Quinn. I was one of the original pirate DJs from the North Sea days back in the 1960s. I knew most of the big acts of the 60s and 70s, including the Beatles. This is Paul McCartney on the Ron O'Quinn Show. This is Ron O'Quinn on the Ringo Starr Show. So if I tell you something about the artist, it's a first-hand story. My shows are heard on Radio Mi Amigo International on Saturday mornings from 10 until noon and Sunday afternoons from 4 until 6. Make me happy, play the volume loud, and be proud. Ron O'Quinn.